Could the war in Ethiopia be coming to an end? The world certainly hopes so. Africans hope so. Ethiopians also hope the violence will come to a finish. The African Union has written to both Addis Ababa and their opponents in Tigray, suggesting a ceasefire and peace talks. The government of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has said yes. The AU has issued an invitation for peace talks. The government of Ethiopia has accepted this invitation, which is in line with our principled position regarding the peaceful resolution of the conflict and the need to have talks without preconditions. While there was no immediate response to the letter from the Tigrayan leaders, officials said last month they were ready to participate in an AU-led process. The federal government has been pursuing the conflict for almost two years. Addis Ababa accused the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front of attacking a national army facility. This came months after national elections were canceled and about a year after a new coalition government was formed without TPLF representation. The war has killed thousands and displaced over five million. It has seen the international community freeze assets and cut off funding to the Ethiopian government. A breakthrough now would not only potentially save millions of lives, it could restart regional trade interrupted by the war, refocus security services on regional terrorism, and help average Ethiopians get back on their feet financially. This reporter was in the country earlier this year and saw how many industries were struggling to hold on. The loss of the tax break from the United States AGOA program was making it difficult for manufacturing enterprises to keep and expand their workforce. Other sectors like tourism, hospitality, and financial services also appeared to be negatively affected. Both sides need to come to the table in good faith and put this terrible conflict behind them and find a path to national reconciliation. ADN-TV will continue to report on political developments across Africa.